What's going on guys? Welcome to my LADEP channel. In this video, we're gonna learn about the different between event handlers and event listeners in JavaScript. In JavaScript, an event can be a button click or a mouse hover over. It is important to respond to the event by showing a model when a button is clicked. Today, you will learn the two ways to handle events in JavaScript in a nutshell. In JavaScript, you can handle events in one of two possible ways. First, we can use event handlers. Second, we can use event listeners. So to use an event handler, we can use one of the event handler properties of an object. All right, let's look at the example of using on click event. First of all, we need to create a button and then class btn button and next switch to the index.js file. So we're gonna create a button variable and use document.query selector to get the class of the button. So we're gonna get um, class.btn. Okay, next we're gonna use the button variable and then we're gonna use the onClick event handler and we're gonna return console.log button clicked. All right, hit save. Next, let's click the button. So right here, the onClick event handler is triggered when a user clicks on a button. As a result, button click right there is output into the console. So in the next example, we're gonna use event listeners. The other option to handling events is by using event listeners. An event listener is something you assign to an object. As the name suggests, the event listener listens for events and gets triggered when an event occurs. Okay, let's repeat the previous example by assigning an event listener to a button to listen for clicks. All right, we're gonna change uh, on clicked to add event listener. And then we're gonna change our code here for listen to click event and return. All right, uh, and refresh the page. So let's click on the button. Now clicking the button triggers a click event, which in turn runs a block of code, which outputs button clicked to the console right there. The minor difference between event handlers and event listeners is easy to understand. You can only have one event handler for a specific event type, but you can add multiple event listeners for it. Okay, let's see what happens if you try to add two onclick event handlers to the same object. We're gonna comment this code and then copy. So I'm gonna change this to onclick return console.log first event handler and copy this is second event handler all right hit save and then you click the button so right there as an object can only have one event handler for each event type the first on click handler gets overwritten by the second this results as you can see in the console here all right let's repeat this experiment by using two click event listeners we're gonna comment this code and uncomment this so copy and we're gonna change to uh first button click and second button clicked and then refresh the page and hit the button as you can see in the console it is okay to have multiple event listeners of the same event per object thus both of the listeners are triggered once a button is clicked i believe right now a lot of you guys have wondered which should i use Generally, it is advised to use event listeners over event handlers because you can add multiple event listeners for the same event. Conclusion, event listeners and event handlers are used to handle events, such as button clicks on your page. There's a subtle difference between event listeners and event handlers. An object can only have one event handler for a specific event, but it can have multiple event listeners for the event. When in doubt, prefer event listeners over event handlers all right guys that's it about this video i hope this video is helpful to you guys if this video is helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys soon in the next video